Ladies and gents, Black Hoodie presents, I think the best tacos I may have ever made. It's Black Hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods, yeah. All right, y'all, it's another subscriber sponsored specific request. And if you come over here with me, I'll show you what's on the docket today. So come on down to the Lappy Toppy. We got hard taco shells ground beer and by that she means beef with taco seasoning lots of cheese salsa lettuce and sour cream and that is from chastity smith another og in the comments been around forever i see you chastity i've always seen your comments i really appreciate it and i really appreciate the sponsored request i'm feeling like this is a good meal for today low impact low carb Pretty simple, pretty easy. Now I usually make my taco seasoning the lazy way in a packet, but because this is a request, I'm gonna do something that I've never done before and just whip up my own seasoning from spices and things like that. Maybe a little tweak of my own. So let's get to it. All right, so here's how it's going down. First things first, high flames, a pan on, as Gordon would say. Coming in hot next with the last of my oil, just so that we can get a nice, crispy golden sear exterior on this beef. So I'm gonna let that heat up for a little bit and we're gonna come in with the beef. All right, so this oil is getting nice and hot. She's starting to dance and smoke. So here's the move coming in fresh with a brand new ground beef. And then we don't wanna waste food around here. So this is from the other day. I gotta use this up. There you go. All right, these guys are spitting up and searing very hard. Look at that. That's all flavor, baby. That's what's up. Like cooking a giant burger patty. Just for now. All right, I got this guy flattened out for more service area, but as you can see, right, got some nice searing on here like a nice big burger nice big smash burger i'm going to continue this until we're nice and dark brown and we've got some good flavor and we got uh, a little moisture out of here okay so in the meantime while that's cooking down let's get some sour cream ready for easy piping onto the tacos so get yourself a cup a jar whatever Ziploc bag and just go in to said holding item, uh, jar, cup, whatever. Do that, wrap it around like that situation. And then we come on in with the sour cream. This makes life a whole lot easier, both this cup situation. It makes it easier to get everything in the bag, first off. Hassle this without mess and then when you're going to apply your uh, sour cream on the tacos, it's just a quick sliding glide. So just drop her in, pack it in, however much you need. Now Chastity said lots of sour cream, and you guys know I love sour cream, so I have no hesitation on putting lots of sour cream in there, half a tub here. So boom, get that in there, pop it off, right? Swizzle that into a corner, whatever that means. Swizzling to get it down into the corner, wherever the corner is, tucked away, hiding. Come on now, don't be shy. Show yourself. Where are you? Wow, these bags are like cornerless bags. Okay, so that didn't work at all. Where the hell are the corners? Look at this, why is there no corner? <laughs> We're still gonna make it work. I don't know how, but we will. But if you had a regular Ziploc bag that has a corner, you just snip it and then we're good. But I'm still just gonna make an incision here. It'll still come out the same. So not not the most ideal bag corner, but let's just test the theory of, we just need it to come out somewhere to go onto the top though. So, boom. Let's test the theory. She'll be perfect. All right, y'all, she said what she said. She said lettuce and cheese. I was expecting tomatoes, onions, things like that. No, it sounds like she wants it simple. Lettuce, cheese, salsa, sour cream. So her wish, my command. Before we do that, we get these prepped. 
I'm gonna show you two kitchen hacks. First off, with cheese, okay? Watch this. So we're gonna use a nice chunk of this, right? So you might as well take off a couple inches, right? So we're gonna use this little brick, right? Boom, cut this off. Okay, now if you've never been privy to this, this will blow your mind. I know some of you are definitely on this shit though. And you already know where I'm headed with this. So you know when you have this situation, you don't wanna put away the cheese just like this, you gotta use a bag, blah, 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 it's annoying as hell. Nah, that's not true. If you cut enough off the first time, cause you're gonna use this much, right? Boom, what you do is you take this and you just put the tiniest little slit right here on one side, just so it opens up a bit wider. And what do you do? You slide that back on. So it's almost like it was never open, brand new. That goes in the fridge, no wasting of a plastic bag, no annoying shit, it's done in two seconds and you're back in the fridge, no crusty ends. Use it, it's a life changer. Okay, so if you ever get like grate cheese or something like that and you don't want to have it fly everywhere, you want to dirty up this board, just put something down with a walled surface that's kind of flat, come in with your grater inside of it. And then this is where all your like prep and veggies and stuff can stay anyways on a tray like this. Come in and for tacos, we all know we need the small side, not the big chunky side, the small side. And just get the grating and this way, you know, all that cheese doesn't go flying everywhere. It doesn't stick to the cutting board and mash into it. You don't have to go wash it in between things. You just have yourself a nice little area, right? For all your prep, your toppings, everything. I'm gonna put my lettuce on here after this. And always I encourage you with tacos to use the fine shred side. I know that these graters seem like they only have one side that serves a purpose, but everything serves a purpose on a grater, just by the way, just so you know. And there you go, you got a mountain of perfect thin taco cheese. And we just move that to the side a little bit. We'll let that hang out. We're gonna put our lettuce on here too. All right, so next you guys know we're about to deal with my iceberg. I like to do it like this. Come in, half it basically, so the uh, strings, strands, whatever you wanna call it, aren't too long. Basically, I'll just take like a few layers, a few folds, pull them out of here. Maybe that's one too many, probably like right here. And then what I do is I just straight up, which side it goes right here. I'll just roll it up basically kind of deal, if it'll let me. All right, and put it into a rolled position. And just like herb, you just shift a knot, right? You just want, because I like more lettuce. As thin as I possibly can get it, so. Go ahead, come down and try to get that nice, super thin stringy lettuce, not these big wide chunks of lettuce for the tacos, right? That's what I'm about. It's this nice, thin stringy lettuce. So we make a bunch of that. Bring in our tray, like I said. Pop this there. Once ready, I'll go put these in the fridge and keep them cool until we're ready to dress up these tacos. So what I'm gonna do then is I'm just gonna probably strain off some of this oil real quick. And then we'll get to the seasoning of this all. Look at that, all that excess. Gotta get rid of some of that. Keep a little bit though. Don't want it too dry. All right, oil is strained off. I did keep a little bit in there. We're gonna go ahead and flavor this up. So a bouillon cube, a beef bouillon. That'll incorporate some nice beef flavor into it. Next to that, this is my own recipe. I'm just trying this for myself. We have some pepperoncini liquid, pickling liquid. I got just a squirt of ketchup. I got hot sauce. 
I got garlic powder. We got onion powder. We got pepper. We got paprika. We got chili powder. We've got cumin. And also, this is a little twist, smoky ranchero la grill, but it looks good. And that's what I'm gonna season this all up with and hope that it's delicious. I think it will be, personally. Looks like we might need a little bit of water to get things going here a little bit. Turn to this. Last, of course, I'm just gonna salt around there, make everything pop. All right, some of y'all already know where I'm going with this, and that is to finish him. So we get our bowl, we get our mix, our beef. And that's why we want it to be still a little liquidy because we need it to blend, and we pulse it. So that we can get that good, good Taco Bell consistency. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is what we're looking for. The fine consistency. You know, a little bit moisture, a little bit wet, not too dry. Now we're ready to make tacos. So let's line them up. Okay, so what's next? Well, we all know that shells are better toasted, duh. So, convection, crank her up to, I don't know, let's call it as high as we can go. Crank her up to, I don't know, 425, how about? We'll set it there, and then we just distribute them amongst the rack. As many as we can fit, hopefully the whole thing. I think we could be able to. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's just do eight. Uh oh, no, man down. Man deep down in the cave, in the cavern, in the toasting cavern. Oh my God, please, no nope, help. Oh my God, oh no. Nope, don't do it. Don't do it, don't you dare do it. Get, get, yeah, there we go. Hey. Eight fits perfect. Right, you guys, it's about that time. Let's go ahead and get these dressed for the ball. Got our eight shells here. Hot out the oven, nice and fresh. The standing stacks. So first things first, we need a nice beefy bottom layer. Now this is something I always struggle with when I'm building a taco. Every time I feel like my construction technique is a little different and can always be subject to change relative to the toppings or the ingredients of what's going in them. And I don't know that I've ever found the perfect layering technique. So if anybody down below has any wisdom to offer me, that would be greatly, greatly appreciated because I feel like I do need to solidify and concrete a final perfect way to lay out and dress tacos. But I do believe that starting with beef is always a good move. So we've got that covered. Next. I do believe I'm going to go with a cheese so that that melts into this warm beef right now. But we won't stop there at the cheese because Chastity said what she said. She said lots of cheese, right? Lots of salsa, lots of sour cream. So 
we need to find a way to make that happen. So, so I'm gonna pack that in to make some more room for everything. I'm gonna go salsa next. I drag a salsa across. I think a nice middle packed, very salsa-y bite right in the center is a clutch move in my opinion, in my book. So we'll do that like so. Uh-oh, I'm gonna run out. Uh-oh. No. Our sour cream piping technique. It's perfect. You don't even need that corner to be an actual corner. You just find a way to cut a nice hole and make it just big enough to squirt the perfect amount. Okay, that's all adhesive. We're gonna go in with the shredded latuche. And that's lettuce in fancy the language of fancy you gotta have fun while we're cooking guys that's the thing i don't like about a lot of cooking channel shows everybody tries to be so fucking contrived in the way that they pronounce stuff they don't joke they don't make puns they don't make bad jokes everything's got to be so serious and straight to the point when it's just cooking and food man we just gotta have fun all we do we gotta enjoy putting it together so we got that what I'm gonna do next is she did say lots of sour cream. So we're gonna sour cream the top again, and that's purposeful for a reason, and you'll see momentarily, but that's gonna be adhesive for that lots of cheese that was requested. So we just sprinkle right over top of the whole shebang, I would say, right? Sour cream, salsa, beef, cheese, lettuce, crunchy, tacos, beautifully put together. What do you think? Would you eat them? I would say so. Let's go ahead and get these in our face. All right, yo, what up? What is good with y'all? Welcome to today's video, a slapper, a banger, but a special sponsored request as well from a OG who's always in the comments, been here for years, and her name is Chastity. So she reached out to me, was wondering what this would uh, come up to. I gave her a very nice little estimate. She was kind enough to hit me with that, plus a little something, something, something for the guy. So Chastity, this one's for you. I hope they're exactly to your specification and that you'll really enjoy this one. I definitely will because tacos are in my top five. <laughs> Favorite foods of all time, especially Americanized, you know, um, Tex-Mex American tacos. So I did bring some Valentina. I hope you're not offended by that. I'll eat a few as such but i definitely need to hit it with a valentina but before we do that we're gonna pour <laughs> we got the skier on deck today i don't want to move the tacos so we're pouring in the rear i'm sorry for those who like the up close and fizzy but we're gonna get busy with this pepsi from yesterday i didn't finish it like i said i'm on my kind of fasted situation here and i just have you know my one meal my one allotted amount and then I shut her down for the night and I sleep hungry and I wake up not that hungry and I live my day and now it's about four o'clock about to eat that's what I've been trying to do lately I've been trying to get eaten by around a normal dinner time anywhere between four and six I shut her down by six and then I just go the rest of the night I sleep I wake up I live my day and then I have my one uno mas, one more delicious meal. Look at how Mexican I am in this super Americanized <laughs> taco mukbang. A sip of Pepsi to kick it off. You need to wet the beak. And get down and dirty. 
we got the napkin here. I think we're going to need it a few times. That's for sure. But I'm super incredibly ready for these. Okay. The stand and stuffs are a game changer. As you might see, they got a little dark in the toasty. I will go ahead and agree with you if you're chirping me in the comments or while I was making them. If you're thinking, man, you're setting that way too high. I did. I set it quite high, but I kept an eye on it. And uh, I pulled them out in a rush and I burnt my fingies. But we gonna be alright. <laughs> okay. The perfect taco. No. Oh my god. That's so soft. And beautifully crunchy. And melted in my mouth. Look at that beef. Like I made it. Shafts. Easily shafts. So as far as that beef seasoning goes, I've never made that before. I just looked in the cabinet, looked in the fridge, thought what might be nice. I know maybe ketchup's a little strange to put in there, but honestly it worked. The pepperoncini pickling liquid worked because a little bit of heat, a little bit of vinegar, you know, just some depth of flavor. Just tried to balance out the spices as much as I could. Didn't go crazy on anything. I was kind of equal parts to it. And it ended up working out amazing in my favor. I gotta show you again. Can't get enough of it. That meat, you have to do that to your meat. Just to make it that amazing consistency. That goes good with these, absolutely. All right, I'm gonna get a little freaky with the Valentina here. I think it's required. While I'm doing that, I just wanna say to Chastity. Uh, I know I told you these would be sometime next week. I put them up in the queue because they made sense for me to do today in my life. And also, I'm in talks with everybody else who's in line waiting for these requests. My, my, my true ride or dies, I love you guys so much. Um, I've been in contact with all of you, I've been talking to all of you guys, just saying it's gonna take me X amount of time, probably by the end of next week, everything will be done as per what I have already done or requested. But <clears throat> the thing is, is that some of you guys requested almost very similar things. So I'm trying to roll out the videos in a way that there's nothing like back to back that is 
um, monotonous. That's like the same, you know? Even though nothing's the same, some things are similar. There's variations of similar requests. And I just want the videos to be like... rolled out in a specific way but after this one I think I have four more and they should all be out by the end of next week the Valentina changes the game so super good what have you done to me look at this life <laughs> what do I even do with this other than licking it crazy I'm spicing up I'm heating up I'm getting rosy I'm getting sweaty but what is the garden big it baby <laughs> well that's annoying I uh, was just eating through this fourth one and I realized that the camera had shut off for whatever reason, so. Finish that one off. And say what I was saying. And that is if I had to, if you were to force me to pat myself on the back for these guys, which I will and did, I would say these are very, very much Taco Bell-esque, except it's honestly better. The flavor's better, the amount of stuff is better. Ingredient quality is better. The Valentina brings it. All together. And closer to a Taco Bell taste because I feel like Valentina has. Almost the taste of. Taco Bell mild sauce. But like I say, the cheese, thinness, so important, and the meat texture, so important. Oh, I'm getting so spicy right now. So needless to say, I've been enjoying making these vids. Very, very enjoyable, very, very fun, feels very... I like this interaction, this like um, more close, connective interaction. It's pretty. It's 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 it feels different. It's making this whole thing just like it was getting monotonous to me, but now this is like reinvigorated my soul a little bit. To be honest, beyond that though. From what I'm seeing in the comments, I'm liking the response to this. I feel like you guys all are really liking the uh, sponsor requests, cooking, vids. And I think it, it further creates more community in the comments too. Like it's like, cause in the other one with Jackie, like everybody's like, yo Jackie. Or like with the one with Dom, people were like, thanks Dom. Things like that, like. Just people being like, oh, Jackie's hilarious. So that's pretty cool. I dig that. 
I really dig that. Because that's how this all started. ASMR was like a tight knit community. That somehow moved me into like mukbang and shit. Like that was a community in the early days. Then it just got huge, and ASMR and Mukbang both got like, in my opinion, poison to the point that like, just people took it like so far, far. Drama got involved. People like just having like cat fights and hissy fits and all this stuff, and then it just became like all these people from the outside came and had opinions, and it just became this space of like people arguing and like they're better, they're it just became so ridiculous. And I know this is all pretty ridiculous to begin with if you really think about it, but I don't know. I liked it when it was more like community and meant something. It was like wholesome and chill and like just people getting along and connecting over like this kind of strange shit that we all like. Um, the, the, it, it's calming, it's entertaining, it takes you away from the world, it's peaceful, something like it's just, you know, it's it's food, it's pleasure, it's enjoyment. It helps people with eating disorders, like just things like that. Maybe it could fuel an eating, eating disorder. I'm not saying it's all positive. It's, not, it's definitely not all positive, but I like that at least this thing that I'm doing here feels a little more of the connective tissue, right? Like how it used to be before everything became so big and crazy and glitz and glam and money and drama and arguments and Nicaragua, <laughs> you know, who I, like those types just going, just taking this shit way further than it ever needed to go. But hey, that's entertainment, right? It's always gonna, life, just everything, sports, everything ups itself to like the nth degree. There's people always willing to take it to a crazier place. I wish I was willing to take it to eight tacos, but I physically can't. Six was enough. In the beginning, before I laid these out, I was in my head, I'm like, six is my number today. I, I know six is my number, but I did eight for the show. And I can't go any further. So that's all I can do for you, Chastity. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you all, the rest of you guys enjoyed it. To the ones that are in queue waiting, you all know who you are. Any questions, hit my inbox. I'm always on response, but you know that we've been in chats and cahoots and talks. So they will all get fulfilled. We will see all of them roll out. And until the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, and stay true.